peekaboo. No Dinner, the story of the old woman and the pumpkin. This book was written by Jessica Suhami and published by Marshall Cavendish. There was once an old woman who lived at the edge of a big forest with her little dog. She was so bent and frail that she was nothing but skin and bone. She longed to visit her granddaughter who lived on the other side of the forest, but the forest was full of fierce, hungry animals. Nevertheless, one day she said goodbye to her little dog and set off with her walking stick to cross the forest, sure that she would return home, sick, home again soon, happy and fat. She walked slowly, tapping with her stick, tagook, 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 when suddenly, boo! Out jumped a wolf, old woman, I am going to eat you up. Very well, said the old woman, but look at me. I'm all skin and bone. I'm on my way to my granddaughter's house where I'll get nice and fat. Why don't you eat me on my way home? All right, said the wolf, but don't be too long. I'm hungry. And the wolf disappeared. And on she walked and her stick went. Tagook, tagook, tagook. But then, boo! Out jumped a bear. Old woman, I'm going to eat you up. Very well, said the old woman, but look at me. I'm all skin and bone. I'm on my way to my granddaughter's house where I'll get nice and fat. Why don't you eat me on my way home? All right, said the bear, but don't be too long. I'm hungry. And the bear disappeared. And on walked the old woman and her stick went, tagook, 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 until, boo, out jumped a tiger. Old woman, I am going to eat you up. Very well, said the old woman, but look at me. I'm all skin and bone. I'm on my way to my granddaughter's house where I'll get nice and fat. Why don't you eat me on my way home? All right, said the tiger, but don't be too long. I'm hungry. And the tiger disappeared. And on she walked, and her stick went, tagook, 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 until at last she reached her granddaughter's house. Her granddaughter was surprised and happy to see her. She gave her grandmother the most delicious food, and the old woman ate and ate and ate. Granny, said her granddaughter at last, if you eat one more thing, you will burst. The old woman laughed. That is true, she said. And now that I'm nice and fat, the animals in the forest will want to eat me. How can I get home safely? Don't worry, Granny, said her granddaughter. I have a plan. Here is a huge red pumpkin. I've cut off the top and scooped out the middle so you will fit inside. Then you can just roll home through the forest and the animals won't see you. And she helped her grandmother into the pumpkin shell where she was nice and snug. She put on the lid and gave it a gentle push and it rolled along, galook, 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 very soon. Out jumped the tiger. Pumpkin, have you seen a little old woman? No, called the old woman from inside the pumpkin. I'm just a pumpkin rolling home. I haven't seen an old woman. Bother, said the tiger. No dinner. And the pumpkin rolled on. Galook, galook, galook. But then... Out jumped the bear. Pumpkin, have you seen a little old woman? No, called the old woman from inside the pumpkin. I'm just a pumpkin rolling home. I haven't seen an old woman. Bother, said the bear, no dinner. And the pumpkin rolled on, galook, 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 until... Out stepped the wolf. Pumpkin, 
Have you seen a little old woman? No, called the old woman from inside the pumpkin. I'm just a pumpkin rolling home. I haven't seen an old woman. Bother, said the wolf. No dinner. But just as the pumpkin was about to roll on just a minute said the wolf i've never heard a talking pumpkin and he lifted the lid from the top of the pumpkin and out popped the old woman's head very well she said you can eat me now but first i have to tell you that i didn't get nice and fat at my granddaughter's house. Not at all. I'm still just skin and bone. Show me, said the wolf. Put out your leg for me to feel. And the crafty old woman poked out not her leg, but her walking stick. And the wolf felt that. Bother, he said, hard as bone. Not nice and fat at all. Bother, bother, bother. No dinner. And he pushed the pumpkin in disgust. And the pumpkin rolled along, galoop, 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 until it reached her house on the far side of the forest. The clever old woman got out of the pumpkin shell, happy and fat and safe. And her little dog ran to meet her, wagging his tail. And that is the end of the story. Oh, she was clever. No dinner. Missing you, my friends. Mwah.